Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Drew here, and today is day number 466 review video and another withdrawal uh, video for S Group here, guys. We'll just jump right into it uh, now. So yeah, we're up to, uh, had a really big day today, guys. I actually brought in over $2,000 um, in commission today. Not even the team turnover, just straight up commission. So that's like a lot of sales, basically, um, today. And yeah, I had... Uh, one guy under me, uh, I forget who it was, um, but anyways, he brought in someone that brought in uh, 20K, which was pretty awesome. And then I had a guy under me fund about 10K and then a bunch of people fund, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars kind of thing like that um, today. So really big day to get today, guys, um, uh, with the commission and the team bonuses stuff, we're up to $90,839. That's my commissions and stuff so far out of, out of the system here. And then uh, $745,323 there in the team turnover. Well over a million dollars in the combined team turnover. In the combined team turnover <laughs> there. I got $256,676 left to go um, in this team turnover uh, until I get a $50,000 bonus and that's a million dollars of, of team turnover there. So that's my goal over the next, you know, probably two months here just before the summer. I've got a stuffy nose today. I don't know why. Um, is to hit that million dollar team turnover, get the 50 K bonus. My plan is to just put that 50 K into my account. Uh, cause that will put my earnings like way up. Basically my monthly income, um, from the system will like double kind of thing. Right. So pretty awesome. So yesterday, we'll just actually make this a review video here with the Forex as well. So yesterday we got back to an average earnings. Um, all last week, guys, we were having low average earnings. If you go and watch this video that I did last uh, Saturday night, um, I talk a little bit about that at the end of the video there. Uh, just that the the whole week was basically low last week. I think, you know, like last last week's earnings were almost the same as last night's earnings, right? Like we got 0.53% last night, which is, I would say, average in the system now. And uh, all last week, uh, I did the math on it, and we got 0.88%. So probably today, we'll get another, you know, 0.40 to 0.60 day, I'm guessing, kind of thing around that. And uh, yeah, that'll put us back to, you know, average earnings for this month. Like if we get one low week, guys, it, yes, it impacts the month's um, percentage of course, but if we come along and we get one day over 1%, then it puts it back to, to the average. So, um, I'm thinking that's, what's going to happen. Cause normally that does happen. If we get a really low week, then sometimes during that month, we get a day that's like around 1% or over 1%. And then that monthly average gets knocked back up to, you know, the average kind of thing. Okay. So yeah, you can watch this video. This is my last update video there that I did. Um, I also did a, a, a video about low earnings, this one here. So this video here is just about low earnings and, and you know, it's something that's expected. Like if you're in a real business and it's not a Ponzi scheme, uh, they're not saying, Hey, we're going to give you 1% per day until, you know, they would never say until it dies, but that's what a Ponzi scheme model is basically based upon is funds coming in is paying the funds going out. So, you know, if you're not in a Ponzi scheme, if you're in S group and it's not definitely not a Ponzi scheme, guys, uh, then you have to prepare yourself for days that are going to be low earnings, months that are going to be low, weeks that are going to be low. It's just part of what's going to happen, right? If you're in something like, for instance, I said in this video here, I gave a really good example, I feel, of taking a normal, typical bread and mortar business like a pizza shop. And, you know, I, I, I put down basically that you can think about this graph here is the pizza shop sales, right? Like not every day is the same. And if every day is the same, then what kind of business is that, right? Obviously it's, they got something else going on. Maybe they're laundering drug money or something. Who knows, right? But uh, S group here, guys, you got to look at it as a real business because it is a real business. They're actually taking the deposits, they're putting them in the Forex market. And you know, that's how you're making your daily percentage there is, is they're making a daily profit from that. And they're sharing with you, um, you know, like this here, this day here, 1.43%. That's what they made in the Forex market. And depending where you are in the system, okay, we'll just go to the investments page real fast. That's what you'd get. So for instance, 
Um, if you have a hundred dollars in the system, you would get 50% of 1.43%, whatever that was, right? So we'll just go and do quick math here and, and I'll show you guys. I'll give you the example of, you know, the uh, beginning of the system here at 50-50 and then the 85-15, the maximum, okay? So if you have $100 and that day it made 1.43%, which is like an amazing day, right? Like there's some weeks where we only make 1.43%, right? So, uh, so, you know, that's an amazing day there. And then you'd go <clears throat> uh, divided by two. Oops, that's 2.3, sorry. Divided by two is 0 0.71. 0.5. So 0.71% it would probably say on there. And that's what you'd make at this level here. Even if the company made 1.33%, you'd make 71 point whatever percent, it's probably just 71%, right? For that. Okay. So for this here, because you're making 85% of the profits, right? You would make like this. Okay. So that's divided by two. So we take this and we just go, what is what is 85% of one point blah, blah, blah percent. So you'd make 1.21% that day. So you guys can see the difference here. Here, if we're making, you know, the system is making 1.43%, um, you would make 1.21%. If you're here, you're making, you know, 0 0.70 was 0.71% or something. So you can see the difference there, guys. And that's why you need to set goals and you need to get your way through the system, okay? Like I did. If you watch my videos over the last year, I started here. I worked my ass off, sold the system like crazy. Um, you know, any little profits after from my personal trading, which I was paying my mortgage with at the time. Like now I pay my mortgage with the S group earnings, right? So, uh, before I was trading about six to eight hours a day on my own trading, right? In the, in the crypto market and anything I had left over from that month, right? Which was over the year, about $12,000. I would put into my account. I would go and I'd put it into this account here, guys, this, you know, 50 K $600 there, right? Um, I built through commissions and my four or my, uh, crypto earnings from leftover from, you know, paying the mortgage. It was $12,000 basically over the year. Um, I put all of that into here, right? Uh, also the team turnover stuff guys and all the bonuses and the commissions, I built my wife a 50 K account with that. Okay. So my wife's account, you, I show you, I show that in many videos here. Actually, I better just show that just in case this is the first video that people are watching and they're like, this guy's just talking out his ass. <laughs> I'll just log into her account and I'll show you guys. Cause I do have the computer right beside me and it's real easy for me to log into the account just through this computer here. Um, just to log in and then seven, four, and then we'll have to log back into my account and I'll show you guys, um, a withdrawal there. So there you go, guys, another 50 K account. So, you know, um, you know, guys, why I'm saying this is because I hope it encourages you. Like you're watching this video and maybe you only have a hundred dollars to start, but you're like, I want to do something. I want to create something that's totally life. Like guys, between these two accounts on average, you're making eight to $10,000 us a month, which we can easily live off that. But anyways, we'll sign out of this again. We'll go back into my account and we'll do a withdrawal because that's what we do here. So, um, you know, why I'm withdrawing guys, I could go. And as I said, at the start of the video, like my goal is to get my account now to a hundred K right. But my goal is to make money online. Oops. So I'm withdrawing, right. And you should think the same when you hit your original goal. Like if, if say you're starting off at a hundred dollars and you're like, okay, every single month, the end of the month, I'm going to use what I have left over after paying all my bills. And I'm going to put it in uh, S group or whatever system you're in. Pick something that's definitely not a Ponzi scheme, please. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're going to build, you're going to focus on doing commissions and stuff like that, guys. That's what you got to do, right? And then when you hit your goal, do what you, you know, when you're thinking of your goal, my goal is, hey, I'm going to hit 50K in my account and then I'm going to start my withdrawals, right? 
you hit your goal, you do what you promised yourself. Start withdrawing. Don't be like, hey, I'm going to build to 100K and then I'm going to start withdrawing because I can tell you right now, when you hit 100K, you're going to be like, oh, wow, this is amazing. I'm making whatever, 8,000 a month or something. Uh, I'm going to go to 150K and you just keep on going and going and going. And then eventually you're sitting there and you're just like, you know, addicted to building. <laughs> it's not good guys. Okay. That's what happened to everybody in revenue share sites is they got addicted to just building and they'd build to the moon and it'd just be stupidity. Okay. Enough of me going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we'll go to the finance page here. Um, yeah, I get going guys. If, if this is your first video of mine that you're watching and you're like, this guy's just crazy. Um, yeah, I just get going. I get, I get something in my head and I'm like, Oh, this is good. And then I just keep on going with it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So anyways, we're going to sell off this SNT. You can see I got like $9 and 50 cents of SNT there. That's what your commissions come in as is SNT, which is their, the systems, uh, cryptocurrency. Basically they have two cryptos. They have SNT, which they just use in the system. Like no one else can use it out there. It's not on exchanges or anything like that. It can't be manipulated. It basically doesn't go up or down in value very much. Um, over the year, it might go up two cents or something like that, or three cents or whatever. Um, I haven't seen it move in value in six months, I think. So yeah, it's pretty damn safe to say that, you know, if you just hold your commissions in SNT, um, and you're, you know, it's probably safe, but I like to just sell it every single day into USD because I love USD, love making USD and, um, you know, we have to withdraw in USD anyways. So that's all that, right? Okay. So you can exchange it here, guys. I've sold $23,000 of SNT at once. I recorded it in video when I got my $20,000 bonus from the company. I also had 3000 something dollars in commission that day. And all at once in one shot, I sold $23,000 of SNT. So the supply of it guys is huge. It's massive because you got to think of everyone is using it in the system here, right? Okay. So, uh, fifth, there's 59 SNTs here, which will give me like $9 there. So I'll exchange that. Okay. Every time you do an exchange, it costs you one SNT, which is 16 cents. Okay. So the end result, it doesn't really matter. Right. Okay. So I did that. going to refresh my page. I've got my entire balance in USD now. So now I go to withdrawal and USD. You can also withdraw their other crypto, which is, which is listed on exchanges like pancake swap. I think it's listed on three exchanges now. Um, which is SWP. And it's actually an, it's an investment in the system that you can do. And I've actually done it. I have, uh, I think I have about 300 of them now, the SWP tokens, and they go up in value. They fluctuate every single day. So, you know, uh, right now, for instance, they're probably down from where I last bought them because I noticed they dropped this week, but it's the same thing as like a Bitcoin or something like that. Um, it's going to go up and down, up and down. And the more people that buy them, the more people that get involved, the more they're going to go up. And if this system here has 40,000 active members, then most likely if you're one of the people that bought it within the first month of it launching, you've already made a lot of money. <laughs> so it's good. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, USD here, and then I'll withdraw 1832. Okay. Uh, to a USD wallet, and then I'll log into my S wallet. This is the company's wallet. Okay. So what I do is I send my withdrawals to here. Okay. I kind of use this as my little bank online as the S wallet, right? If I trust the system with a hundred thousand of my dollars, um, I, then this is the same thing. I trust them with whatever my withdrawals are, right? What I don't trust is the system I use. It's called shake pay. It's basically the only thing we can use in Canada um, to send funds to our bank. So I never leave anything in that guys. I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave it in my S wallet. Like you can see there's $240 there from my, that's the leftover from my last, um, transaction that I did. I sent 6,000 Canadian to my bank, uh, two days ago. I recorded that in video. If you guys want to see that it's over here, uh, here, this one right here. Okay. I show sending $6,000 to, um, my bank. Okay. From shake pay. So from S wallet to shake pay. Okay. Which I don't trust, 
but they've been around for four years. So I would never leave money in it is what I'm saying. I'm not going to leave. There's $1,111 in here. It's not in there today, but yesterday it was. So I sent it to my bank. Okay. Okay. So I just want to make that crystal clear guys. Cause when I'm recording stuff like this, I'm not saying, Hey, I leave funds in that, that account, that shake pay account. Okay. I trust S wallet. I trust S group and I kind of trust my bank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause now I know what they actually do with the money in the bank. Um, they invest it. So, uh, it's kind of crazy when you think about it, right? That way. But I know I could get my money out of there if I wanted to. Okay. So, um, yeah, guys, I go and I grab my USD wallet. Okay. I shoot on over to S wallet. Boom. I pop that sucker in there and then I just hit withdrawal. Okay. It's going to send me a code to my bot. If you don't have your bot hooked up, it's going to send it to your emails. I copy that guy. I go back here, pop that sucker in there, click on confirm and it's going to process it. Uh, there used to be a message here that says this takes up to like three days or something like that, guys. They obviously don't have that message there anymore. Um, on average, if you do a withdrawal throughout the week, like from a Monday to like a Thursday or Friday morning type thing, uh, you're going to get it most likely within like eight to 24 hours. If you do it on the weekend, like a Friday to a Sunday, you, you actually make the withdrawal like you saw me just do right here. I would say it's going to take 24 hours plus, okay, is what I've noticed is because you think about it this way, the mindset of most people is most people work a day job and most people don't get paid Monday through Thursday. They get paid, you know, when the week, uh, the week is over or they get paid biweekly or they get paid once a week or they get paid monthly kind of thing. And that would land on a weekend. So most people, their mindset is to withdraw on Fridays or Saturdays. Okay. Okay. So that's that. You can see it's going through there. I click on finance and there it is right there. So zero fee for me to send to the S wallet. Okay. For me to send from the S wallet to my shake pay, shake pay account, and then to the bank, that's going to cost me a fee because um, I have to pay mining fees because it's actually leaving, um, you know, a system, right? It's leaving the S wallet and it's going to a totally different wallet. And I have to pay mining fees for that. In Canada, it's extremely expensive. They totally rip you off with it. It cost me like $50 to send 6,000 Canadian to my bank last time I did it, um, which was like two days ago or whatever. Uh, so yeah, guys, but in between S group things like the S wallet and S group, there's no fee to do it, right? When you go and you sell your SNT, right? You're selling your SNT into USD that costs you a fee of one SNT, which is 16 cents. So if you want to think about it this way, if you were to go and, um, you know, do a once a month withdrawal or something like that, uh, and your uh, balance from your monthly income balance, that, that's like a week and a half balance there, goes up here after 30 days, right, of earnings, 30 days goes up here, it would cost you 16 cents to withdraw, which is nothing when you think about it, right? Because the only transaction that's going to cost you a fee is to sell your SNT into USD because you, you need to use USD to send to your S wallet, okay? And then from your S wallet, you would sell into, you know, if you're in Canada, we, we can't use credit cards and we can't, you know, there's a lot of stuff we can't do. So you would sell into Bitcoin or Ethereum. That's going to cost you a fee because there's a transaction fee to do that. Of course, um, any time you're going to buy Bitcoin or sell Bitcoin, it's going to cost you money, right? So that would cost you a fee. Okay. I see it's like, I think it's about $10 when I sold 5,000 US of Bitcoin. So in reality, it's not that much money. Um, but yeah, there's a fee there that's in the S wallet. Okay. Then boom, I have a bunch of Bitcoin and then I send that to my shake pay account. That's going to cost me my big fee, which is about 35 to $50 because shake pay is going to charge a mining fee to do that, uh, which they have to. So there's no way around that. And then you send, uh, from shake pay, if, you know, if you're in Canada and you do what I do, send from shake pay to your bank, it sends it as an e-transfer. Okay. So you can watch that in this video. If you're interested in learning how to do stuff like that, 
you know, because I know a lot of you guys joined S group when I joined, like, you know, 17 months ago. So there's a lot of people that have like tripled or quadrupled their account. And, um, you know, they're thinking, Oh, I want to start withdrawing now type thing. Uh, yeah, that, it's going to cost a little bit of money to get your funds out of S wallet, but any system guys, you're going to have to pay a fee anyways, right? It's crazy when you get a, you know, this happens all the time, right? I know I'm going off on rants, but anyways, <laughs> we'll go with this. Um, you get, this happens all the time, guys, you get a referral and they'll be like, why do I have to pay a fee to make an investment? Right? So people don't like to pay fees, which to me, it's like, that's insane to think like that because when you go to your bank, you're paying a fee, right? When you go to a restaurant or anything, you got to pay taxes, right? When you go and you buy a new car, you got to pay, well, unless you're an Indian, uh, uh, native Indian, <laughs> right? You got to pay taxes. Like most people in life, they have to pay taxes. So if you're coming into a system and you're making an investment and basically you're not doing anything to make money, you're just investing, right? So when you're making an investment, right, you it's just part of life. Like you have to pay a fee, right? If you're thinking like, hey, I don't want to pay a fee or why do we have to pay a fee? Then go to your bank and ask them, why do you have to pay a fee? They're going to give you the exact same answer that, you know, if you were to message the administration here through a support ticket in S Group, they're going to say, because it's it's something you have to do because they're providing a service for you. Okay. So I thought I'd talk about that because to me, that's plain and simple. Like if you're doing something and that whatever you're doing is going to produce a result for you, of course, you got to pay a fee. Um, but yeah, guys, fees are part of life and you have to deal with them, right? It's like taxes. You got to deal with that. Okay. So that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today it was day number 466 review video. And I'll see you in a video, a uh, weekly update video, which will be probably Friday is when I'll do that video Friday night or Saturday, maybe Saturday. Um, so I'll see you there. Bye-bye.